floor, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. General Alvin, congratulations on your nominations. Gina, it's good to have you with us today. So as chair of the subcommittee on personnel, I want to thank you for your leadership on behalf of the airmen and their families, and particularly your support for military family housing and making sure that families have access to child care. I appreciate your focus on these issues and how important they are on both recruiting and retention and how much leadership you have shown in this area. Um, for nearly nine months now, the senator from Alabama has personally blocked the Senate from approving promotions of more than 300 military leaders. These are all leaders that Senator Tuberville voted for here in committee. But the senator from Alabama is angry about a Pentagon health care policy, so he's decided none of the leaders can take up their jobs, the jobs that are needed to maintain our national security. The Air Force has the most senior officers who've been trapped by Senator Tuberville. General, Al General Alvin, does this block on promotions for top military leaders help or hurt our ability to recruit and retain service members, particularly in fields like cybersecurity, where we're fighting hard to try to get the best talent? Senator, I will tell you that uh, while we don't have specific hard data, my experience and my personal judgment says that, that this does hurt uh, recruiting and retention. Uh, we hear anecdotal evidence. Uh, first, we have great airmen who are gonna go out and do the mission. And those who are serving in the positions, whether they're acting or they've deferred their retirement, they're going to continue to serve with honor. And so w with that, I could not be more proud. Um, what I do think about, and again, without more than anecdotal evidence, is the, this, the signal that this may send. And, and, and with that signal, understanding that if there's, if there's a perceived disruption or distraction by our force, uh, we want to maintain and retain the strongest and the best in our Air Force. And if those best have other options and their families have other options and they see this as a potential distraction, then we run a greater risk than if these weren't in, in place of losing those. Uh, and, and so that's the sort of the re retention concerns that I have. And as people look and if they see disruption and distraction, we want to make sure we're also the first, a, an employer of choice. And so I think Anecdotally, I believe it, it affects us in both of those areas of recruiting. Okay. So retention. you're saying we focus on the 300 plus people who are directly being blocked, but you're saying the impact is felt far beyond that in in uh, retention and even recruitment potentially. Uh, Senator, I believe it could potentially just because it, they see it as a distra distraction to the normal way of uh, doing business. Okay. So the senator from Alabama said that blocking all top-level promotions does not have any impact on our national security. That was not the view of the NATO leaders in Brussels when Senator Blumenthal and I met with them just a couple of weeks ago. They shared serious concerns about the impact of the blockade on our NATO operations. General Alvin, if U.S. leadership in NATO were to wane, would that be a national security concern in your view? Senator, it would. If U.S. leadership in NATO were to wane, I, I believe it would, and I, I think we look, need uh, look no further back than uh, the Ukraine war and how we we're able to act as a responsible uh, ally and sort of shore up and, and improve what I believe is the alliance's response to that. And I believe so. If if our influence in NATO waned, I believe that would be a national security. Okay. And when I met with NATO leaders, I heard concerns that leaving so many senior positions unfilled is leading our allies to question our commitment to NATO. I'll be blunt, the actions of the senator from Alabama have become a national security nightmare. Instead of trying to embarrass the United States in front of its allies and trying to embolden our enemies, the senator from Alabama should lift his holds and let our top military leaders do their jobs. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 